The shrub right behind me is American hazelnut. It's in the family Betulaceae, in the genus Coralus, and the specific epithet is Americana. So Coralus Americana is the species name. This is a shrub, so you wouldn't typically ever see this as a tree, and it has brilliant red fall color and produces an edible nut. Let's take a closer look at some of its features. On the inside, you can see hazelnuts are a lot of small stems coming out. That's what really makes this more of a shrub, and so it would be rare to see just a single stem or cane, as they're sometimes referred to, and so this is fairly typical. Hazelnuts are alternately arranged, so a leaf attachment, and then a little ways up you see another leaf attachment. Here you see the twig with catkins and leaves attached, and the newest growth of the twig, the little black specks on there, again, those are little hairs. As you go into the older portions of the twig, you see the white specks or dots, those are lenticels, and the twig smooths a bit. This is the leaf of American hazelnut. It's got a pointed tip and more or less rounded with a toothed margin, fairly uh, small teeth. On the underside, even though it's difficult to see, it has small little hairs, so it has a, a slight fuzzy texture to it. At the base of a leaf, you can see these little black flecks. These are little hairs that go all along the petiole and it's a fairly short petiole, and the leaf holds fairly tight to the twig. These are the male flowers or catkins. They preform in the fall, late summer or fall, and will release pollen in the following year. Preformed catkins are a s signature of many of the species in the Betulaceae family. The hazelnut fruit is typically on the underside of a branch, and you can see it here. It's in a green, almost papery wrapper, and inside that would be another hard shell. So you'd peel away this papery outer uh, portion and then crack the shell, and inside would be the hazelnut. You can see that it has little, these little black specks here are also hairs, so it's got a little bit of a fuzz to it. This is the form of hazelnut. It is definitely a shrub, and you can see that it's fairly tightly or densely packed with foliage. Often we'll find it on the edge of a landscape. We'll take full sun or a little bit of shade.